Hi, this is Antonio and today is the 25th of March 2017, Saturday and the time now is 26 past 1. Today I will speak about organization, the idea of an organization, the actions to organize or of organizing the problems of organizing and the benefits of keeping organizing and or staying organized. I will speak in terms of persons, but borrowing insights from abstract organizations, that is institutions, governments and businesses. It is, in my view, difficult for a person to be fully organized, as opposed to abstract entities, because there are far too many dimensions or perhaps more aspects in a person than he or she can fully grasp, control or comprehend. But it is, I must dare say, not impossible to attempt and carry on the tasks or steps required to organizing continually. I find the best way to do so is to imitate or emulate the abstract entities whenever possible, especially the successful businesses, institutions or governments. And this can be gained by one's contacts with such entities in a variety of ways. By seeing how successful institutions, governments or businesses operate, one can apply some and or all of their modus operandi, their structures or their processes into one's life. It takes time, it takes thinking, it takes effort, but it can be done, for they are a living example that it can be done although they may have far greater resources than a person, but on the level of a person, their strategies can be invaluable. The problem with organizing is that it does not add anything materially new to your current situation. In fact, sometimes it involves subtracting things and because of that it lacks sufficient impetus to propel one to continually organize. The second problem with organizing is that it can be tedious, boring and with no apparent immediate reward or gratification beyond the flimsy satisfaction of having things organized. The third problem is that if one is successful in having everything organized, one comes to the point where the question, what now, becomes pressing and I suspect that is why chaos sometimes seems much more powerful than order, because at least it may induce one to organize or to take action. I think there are many benefits to organizing, keep organizing and stay organized or to increase the level and or sophistication in the acts of organizing or of having one's life organized, that is to enumerate in this short video, but I think two stand out as the most significant and they are Number one, increased opportunities and number two, increased capacity or readiness to seize opportunities. So with that, I must conclude this video and the time now is half past one and uh, I hope it helps and I wish you a good day, a good Saturday and see you next time.
to organizing. 